Starship, its shipping analytics feature lets you analyze multiple shipping metrics to improve your delivery experience and make data-driven decisions. You can view real-life shipping performance data from your business to learn if your carriers are meeting key shipping delivery KPIs. There are two shipping analytics dashboards, Shipping Summary and Shipping Performance. We'll start the Shipping Summary dashboard. This shows you a summary of your order volume split by platform and carrier. You can filter the views of this page by choosing a time period range from the drop-down at the top of the page. There are five different views on this page. Orders, total number of orders created, order status, total number of orders unshipped, printed, and shipped, order status by platform, total number of orders unshipped, printed, and shipped by platform displayed in a bar graph format, Order status by carrier. Total number of orders unshipped, printed, and shipped by carrier displayed in a bar graph format. Unshipped versus shipped by day. Total number of orders unshipped versus shipped by day. And order status by child count. Total number of unshipped, shipped, and printed orders split by your child counts. Next, we'll look at shipping performance. This dashboard lets you analyze the performance of your different carrier services and learn if they're meeting key KPIs. For example, whether orders are being delivered early, on time, or late. The filter options at the top of the page enable you to segment the dashboard data into different dimensions. This lets you analyze the specific reasons behind why the KPIs in this dashboard are being met or missed. The selections you choose in these filters will be reflected in all the visuals on the dashboard. Here are the filters you can apply and what they mean. Domestic or international. View either domestic or international shipments in the dashboard. Date range. Filter all shipments that were created between the start and end date that was selected in the calendar. You can also select a preset time period, for example, last 30 days. Filter bar. Carrier, filter to view multiple or single carrier's performance. Shipping method, filter to view multiple or single services such as overnight, expedited, express, etc. And state. The KPI gauges give you insight into popular shipping metrics. The percentage at each stage is an indication of whether orders are delivered on time, early, or late according to carrier data. The store cards give you the volume of shipments included in the selected filter, as well as how the total volume is split across T-shipping metrics. The delivered status scorecard provides you with a split of the total shipments and how many were delivered as per the various shipping timeframes. Early, delivered before the estimated delivery date. On time, delivered the same day as the estimated delivery date or late, delivered after the estimated delivery date. This scorecard gives you a split of the total packages that have been delivered in the selected filters. It also shows you the average time they were processed in the warehouse, the average time they were in transit, and the total fulfillment time, the total of the warehouse and the transit time. This unit will be displayed in hours if the average time is less than 24 hours, or days if the average time is over 24 hours. This chart allows you to plot your shipping metrics across the configured time span. For example, work out whether a certain date is responsible for a delay in shipping, or if you see spikes in performance on certain days or weeks. The x-axis represents the shipment dates in the series, and the date range will be determined by the start and end date you have selected in the calendar selector at the top of the page. The y-axis represents the volume of shipments that fall into the date series in the x-axis. The index represents the split of the number of shipments in the series that were delivered on time, early, and late. This also gives you a clear indication of volume is contributing to missing KPIs. This chart gives you an indication of how the average warehouse time and transit time are tracking over a configured time range. This can help you work out whether productivity is trending in the right direction, or if there are spikes in average handling time over specific dates. The x-axis represents the shipment dates in the series and the date range will be determined by the start and end date selected in the calendar selector at the top of the page. The y-axis represents the average handling time in either days or hours, depending on the unit selected. The index line represents the average transit time and warehouse time and how they are tracking on the specific time series selected. Finally, carrier performance analysis. This heat map lets you compare all the metrics available in shipping performance for each carrier used in the selected filter. This is especially useful when you use multiple carriers on the same route to benchmark the performance against each other. The darkness of the cell here gives you a clear idea of how these carriers are performing. The columns in the table show the following metrics. Total shipments. Average time in transit. Early. Average time early. On time. Late. And average time late. 
check the links in the video description and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tutorials. Happy shipping!